Okay, here is the Sears in Solid State radio and clock with TV that I got today. And uh, I think we're set for TV right now. I'm going to turn the brightness down and I'll show you why in just a minute. The picture needs help on it. See, you got all we can get is lying right now. There was a low power station on channel 2 in the area at one time, but I don't know if it's still there or not, but I think we took it off the air. All I hear is beeping noise. That I'm sure that back in the day with just 1010 we'd have found something by now. There's the normal clock functions. And let's try the radio. Right now it's just a little bit past midnight, so AM radio receptions should be pretty good. Band switch is on the really, really odd spot here. It's down the side in this hole, more or less. <laughs> Seems like they could have put that right there, maybe. Or made it part of the TV radio control on the top there. Thank <laughs> you. 
FM radio doesn't seem to be doing so good. Just a few miles from the local PBS transmitter. All right. There's that. And of course, we had the, the screen cover here. It's a little bit, just a little bit scratched up, but not too bad. <clears throat> Trying to get over a cold here. Here's the back of the unit. Sure, the UHF antenna could use to be tightened up. And the clock knob is missing, but that shouldn't that's not a big deal. I could probably find a knob for that. Let's at least let's look at the bottom there. It's got the vertical linearity and the horizontal frequency and vertical height controls on the bottom. There we go. Thank you for watching. God bless.